Hello, Rip and Ship community. Thanks so much for stopping by as we open this Wildsville Drain set box for Jimmy. Jimmy, good luck to you. Appreciate the opportunity. We are Moonshot Games, the WPN premium store in Noblesville, Indiana. Uh, my name is Lance Cawthorn. I'm the Rip and Ship host here. We stream on Mondays and Thursdays, 8.30 Eastern. But for uh, Wildsville Drain, we'll be streaming the Friday the 25th through Tuesday the 29th every night at 8.30 Eastern, restocking um, packs. Food. We'll feed the cauldron. Spreading seas. Questing Druid Rare. Um, foil, or showcase Forest. For your first pack. Have to get back to Carl here in a minute. Uh, rebuff the Wicked. Knightly Valor. Ingenious Prodigy Rare. And Mountain. On to our next pack. We have a Fairy. Necropotence. First time pulling this. Very nice. And Hilda's Crown of Winter. So that Enchanting tail Sheet has 18 Uncommons, 30 Rares, and 15 Mythics. Five of the 30 rares come in anime, and uh, all 15 mythics come in the anime version as well. Utopia Sprawl, nice and common. Lord Skitter, Sewer King. Uh, there are confetti foils, but they are not in set boxes. They are only in collector boxes. Uh, but there are a lot of great cards in this set that you would probably want to pull. So some reprints, some new cards. Restless Flying Stock. Um, what should we talk about in the set chat? A lot of uh, great reprints on that Enchanting Tales set. Gregor, Shrewd Magistrate. This is one of the uh, Walking Dead cards. They show up 5% of the time you hit a list card. So that's pretty cool. And a doubling season. Very nice. Sleep Cursed Fairy. What a pack right there for you. Great. Uh, I think that's the top Enchanting Tales card you can pull. So definitely uh, a good start there for Jimmy's box. Aggravated Assault. Great rare. Food Fight rare. Uh, there are also some borderless, I believe, they're borderless rares, I think they're the lands, and there are some borderless mythics that are anime as well. Foil Utopia Sprawl, Intruder Alarm, Virtual Loyalty Mythic, uh, due to that uh, Enchanting Tales, you're going to get a lot of rares and mythics in these boxes. So, definitely uh, a little nicer than normal. Of course, you know, that might result in them not holding as much value. Hatching Plans, Apprentice's Folly Rare. We're just going to have to see how things end up uh, in the long run because you will see a lot of enchanting tales between set and collector boxes. But they're great cards that I'm sure go in quite a few commander decks. Twinning Twins, Foil Showcase, Impact Tremors, and Pollen Shield Hair Rare. Uh, as we come down to our second third of the box. We're about 10 packs in right now. Good time to tell you that we're doing some fun giveaways here on the stream. Throat Slitter. Uh, Rest in Peace Rare, Curiosity Uncommon, and the Huntsman's Redemption Rare. Uh, if we hit 15,000 subscribers by September 8th, we are going to give away a collector box to one person and a set pack to each of 30 people. Griffin Airy, Moonshaker Calvary. This is one of the big uh, mythics people are looking for. White Crater Hoof, it's called. Virtue of Courage, Showcase Mythic, and Court of Arnvale. Great pack there. Uh, we'll give those away on our stream on September 11th. Check the description for full details and uh, rules on that. Thran War Machine from the list. Foil Oversold Cemetery and regular Oversold Cemetery. Definitely Oversold. Decadent Dragon Corvold. The uh, new Corvold there. Mythic. I think that's a set booster card is what it's considered. So kind of cool to see that. Uh, but in total... From the first Wildsville Drain stream through the September 11th stream, if we hit that 15,000 uh, subscriber mark, Red Cap Gutter Dweller, we will have given away a total of over $1,000 of Wildsville Drain product. We'll also be doing some giveaways on our live streams uh, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday night at 8.30 Eastern Time. So if you get a chance to stop by, you could win a Wildsville Drain collector pack, Restless Vine Stock, Borderless, Ground Seal, Lich Knight's Conquest Rare. Uh, so definitely... Uh, a lot of fun to come hang out. Just click that subscribe button and then you can chat and enter our giveaways in our live streams. Uh, starting out with Compulsion, Garrick's Uprising, Great Uncommon, and Charming Scoundrel Rare. Still a lot of fun cards we can pull here. Uh, this is way early, so we haven't seen any of these cards really played too much. So it's kind of hard to tell what's going to end up being the stars of the set. Obviously, there's some cards that are stronger 
Uh, Leyline of Sanctity, Age for Tales, Heartflame Duelist Showcase. Love the uh, showcase frame in this set. Definitely one of my favorites. As we get down toward the middle, bottom of the middle third, I think about three packs left in the middle here. Greymon, so we do hit another Walking Dead. These don't feel like they're as rare as they said. We've hit uh, two in a box twice now. I think that one's Rick. Intangible Virtue, Gumdrop Poisoner Rare, and Intrepid Truffle Snout. People in chat wondering what the next bonus sheet's going to be. That's a great question. Leyline of Lightning, the Goose Mother. It's a fun card. They've done spells. They've done artifacts. They've done enchantments. They've done legendary creatures. Regular creatures? Do they quit the themes and just like do on plane stuff? We'll have to wait and find out. We don't know. Asinine Antex Mythic. Uh, but it will be interesting to see how they continue coming up with more bonus sheet ideas. But I mean, maybe one day. After this three-year cycle's done, they do a Planeswalker sheet. When Planeswalkers come back, who knows? Restless Spire Rare and Restless Vine Stock Borderless. The Borderless land cards are beautiful. I'm not sure how the playability of those will be, but the art is just stunning. All the art in this set is really cool and very on theme. Ristic Study Mythic. Wow. So we hit Doubling Season and Ristic Study in the same box. Heartflame Duelist. Definitely... Uh, a dream box for some people, that's for sure, as we move down the last third of the box. Uh, Dragon Lord of Jutai, Mythic from the list. Not bad. Impact Tremors, Extraordinary Journey. Of course, after Commander Masters, getting one rare in a set pack feels a little weird, but uh, we're back to normal for set packs. Not going to get like those massive multi rare packs all the time. Mana Flare Rare. The end rare, Throne of Eldrain. That's a cool card. Interesting to see how that'll end up working out. Of course, with the bonus sheet, it's kind of, uh, kind of, uh, well, we'll ease you back into it because uh, you can get multiple rares of that bonus sheet pretty easy. Siege Zombies from the list, the Empiric Rites, Bramble Familiar Rare, Ashiox Reaper, Glass Casket. I'm glad that's back. That's a fun card for white decks. Uh, gold stamped art card here for you. Hatching Plans, Raid Bombardment, Devouring Sugar Maw Rare. Had uh, one pack in another box where we got a double Devouring Sugar Maw. One regular and one adventure or showcase art. It was kind of wild. Elemental. Uh, ooh, Anime As Foretold. That's cool looking. Three Blind Mice. I think that's the first time we pulled that one. There are only five rares that have anime treatments. So those are actually going to show up less often than the uh, Mythics. You just will hit a wider variety of Mythics. Grasp of Fate, Godric, Cloaked Reveler. We get down to our last two packs. Another video will be popping up on the screen. That's because it's awesome. You definitely want to check it out. We want to put a not awesome video at the end. So if you're looking for more Wilds Veldrain content, make sure to watch that. Restless Bivouac, Twinning Twin Showcase. And one more pack for Jimmy. Jimmy, thanks so much for letting us open this up. It was a blast. Hope you've enjoyed your polls. Definitely a great box. And uh, we'll catch you all on the next video. Season of Growth, Hilda of the Icy Crown. And your very last land is a forest. So there you go, Jimmy.